man, what a day. <sighs> Lots of letting go today. Um, so I'm going to attempt to do kind of like a, a video log on this YouTube channel. Um, you know, I've been thinking, I've been told for a while that I should start a YouTube channel, but like as far as like picking a specific niche or whatever, um, just... I don't really have anything that I would consider myself like an expert in or uh, anything like that. But I figure that, um, I don't know, I think interesting thoughts. So um, that's kind of my plan is to just share uh, about me and my life and be vulnerable, be real, be authentic, and also just share some insights because I think really weird stuff during the day. Um, and I take a lot of my thoughts and insights I love to study and um, some things I've been really into studying the last year or so are anything spiritual really um, that isn't necessarily a major religious tradition. Uh, so that's everything from um, like Buddhism to manifestation and universal laws to um you know psychic abilities to even a little bit of wiccan uh dipping my toe a little bit into that um uh you know just really embracing all sorts of things in addition to uh many christian roots that i grew up with um and more than anything i think uh one thing that i've just been really interested in studying lately is just humanity and by studying I mean just interacting uh observing what's going on um one thing I was thinking about today um was like I just really feel like you know for a long time like duality exists existed right like in all forms you know men women now there's a lot of uh, unity where, you know, there's a lot of fluidity in unity. Uh, not just that, but also gender roles where gender roles have really shifted. Um, you know, I feel like that started as when I was a child that things started to shift, but much more so pronounced now. And I feel like it'll become even more so. One thing I feel like has happened with everything going on in COVID-19 um, and you know, all the protesting and the important need to bring up uh, black mistreatment in America, especially, um, and to fight for equal rights, which I feel is very important. But I feel like all of this has brought up uh, just the really obvious divide that is no longer serving us. Um, that it's no longer like, I think we're all just tired, you know, we're all tired of being divided. I know I am, so I can't really speak for everyone, but I know I am. I'm tired of conflict. I'm tired... I'm tired of like things like not being sad, you know, like I, I was having, I went to my friend Michelle's house today, which is so nice of her to let me come and hang out with her for a few hours. It helped me a lot. One thing I, um, was just thinking about, like, cause I had a good cry on my way over there. And then, you know, there was a time in my life where I thought crying was weak. Uh, where I thought that it was embarrassing to do in front of people. Uh, and this is a still a belief that I have, but, you know, as I think about duality and I think about, like, for instance, in the workplace, not necessarily my workplace, but the workplace in general where, uh, you know, I've been in the workforce for uh, pretty much since I was 16, uh, had an actual job. So let's see, that's like 18 years. Um, 
But, you know, it's always seemed like being aggressive is okay. Um, like, if you're angry, it's, it's almost normal to expect a boss to yell at you or to chew you out or to, like, if you're annoyed at a coworker, to bitch about them. But, you know what's not normal in the workplace is people crying in front of each other. And I was talking to my friend Michelle about this tonight because it really just like came on me. Like, like, wouldn't it be so much more effective? Like instead of uh, pushing past the urge to cry, which I think for most of us is our first natural reaction, but we push past it because it has become socially unacceptable to do in public. But what if we push past it? And what we do is we push past it and we go directly to anger and to rage uh, and you know, complaining because we're almost too embarrassed to cry, but isn't crying so much more effective? I know it is for me. Like, gosh, I had a good cry on my way to uh, Michelle's house. And I literally like right after that cry, which was about 10 minutes of like pretty hard crying. And after my, <laughs> after crying, I was like, my God, like, I just feel like I, I went through three therapy sessions in a row and I just saved like 300 bucks just from having a good cry because I feel like what crying does is it just lets it out you know and I feel like all of us are trying so hard to not cry and so many of us are hurting with like you know recognizing this duality in the world and I think a lot of us really want to come to a place of unity and connection. Um, I think a lot of us feel very lonely right now and very disconnected. And I think a lot of us really crave that connection. And, uh, you know, so many of us are afraid to express that emotion that it makes us sad. But I don't think that is embarrassing at all. I think being able to cry in front of people is powerful. And I think it is freeing. And I always feel way better after I cry and I always feel more honest. I feel more capable after I let it out. Anyway, this first vlog is really all over the place. Um, I had a hard day today and that's okay. It's okay. Because you have to have the hard days to have the beautiful days. You just have to. You can't. Without the contrast of life, you can't know good. And so the bad and the terrible and the negative is actually a really beautiful thing because it helps us to see the beauty in life. And I guess this is all over the place. I hope if I keep doing this that uh, maybe I can get a little more focused. But then again, it's just a vlog. This is just my day. They don't have to make sense. I'm not trying to like sell anything. I'm just talking. Um, and that's okay too. And it's okay to say I, I felt hurt today. And I felt hurt for a long time. And I feel like a lot of us have. <laughs> and it's okay to cry about it. <laughs> Because I don't want to hold on to the negative in my body. I want to let it go and be free. I think there's a lot of healing in being able to cry, to talk about it, and to let it go. Anyway, I'm going to conclude this vlog since it's also past midnight. I probably need to go to bed. I need to get not sleep. Um, if you watched, thanks. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I don't know, uh, I know tomorrow I'm not going to tell y'all what to do, but tomorrow I think I'm just going to try to connect with more people, because I miss connecting with people, and I'm so tired of looking for what divides us <laughs> instead of what unites us, and I want I want connection. I think a lot of us do. <sighs> Good night.